Hello, welcome to my channel. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Thank you for watching. Hello, it is, what is today? Today is Wednesday, no, today's Tuesday. And tomorrow morning, I will be going on my work trip. Um, it's just a one day outing. We leave at five in the morning. We drive to Jefferson City, which it's really about a three and a half hour drive, but we have to leave at five so we can be, I think I already told you this, on the other side of St. Louis um, before the traffic hits at seven. So we leave out at five. And um, then when we go, um, then they always have a nice lunch. They always have it catered. We never know where it's gonna be catered from. In the past, they've had pasta. One time they had some place, kind of like a Qdoba. Um, you know, sometimes they have sandwiches. It's just a, a variety of things. But like I said, I never know what they're gonna have. So I always take my food and um, usually I eat my own food. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm taking for my work trip tomorrow. Get on down here. Um, I looked at what I had defrosted because you know there's a variety of things. And uh, this is the one I'm gonna take. This is uh, the pulled pork and the jicama beans. So, what I am going to do, I am going to be extra nice to tomorrow's Terry because it's going to be at a place where, you know, lots of people and then more than likely they're going to have, um, they'll probably have like plastic wear. And so, because it's at a, it's at an office building and so I doubt, you know, they never have like silverware. So what I'm going to do is, it looks like when I made this, I had big chunks. And, um, and that's what I put in here. So what I'm going to do for myself tomorrow is I'm going to pull this apart. And I'm going to cut it up a little bit. So I'm going to get a steak knife. I think you all can possibly see. Um, I'm going to just get a steak knife and cut this into smaller bites. So that way... Usually when we eat, there, you know, we, we're talking as we're eating and not usually, they, they pause the meeting while we talk, while we eat, you know, and everybody kind of catches up. So I've had my job since 2011 and there's probably about five or six other directors who have been there since that same time frame. So it's neat because, you know, they live all over the state and we all get together um three to four times a year and um and so what they do at our meeting the state has guidelines for what our program does so they meet with us and they're like well we we're, we're looking at changing this or we're looking at using this utilizing this program computer program um we're changing we we want to change the goal measures um for our clients for this that and the other so they just have a meeting and um, sometimes they have people come and speak. So all kinds of things. But anyway, um, but it's at a building. So I, they moved to this building, gosh, probably about five or six years ago. So we've been going to this building for a long time. And I know the layout of the building and they have an ice machine and they have a microwave. So usually what I've done is I know where the microwave is. So people will line up for their food and I just go microwave mine, and then I come back to my seat, and uh, and I eat my food while they're eating theirs. And I don't care, you know, I'm not somebody who's like, oh, they're gonna be judging me. Now, I used to. When I first started, oh, I was embarrassed, and like, oh, what will they think of me? But then I got to thinking, you know what? What are they gonna think of you in a few years when you've lost your weight? They're gonna be like, wow. I wish I would have brought my food. So that's kind of some things that I've had to kind of retrain my brain to think about. Is that, you know, like when I take my food to family functions or, you know, across the state to other places or on big old conventions and vacations, whatever. I have to remember, <clears throat> yep, they, they're going to maybe think it's weird, but... These are people that have seen me for the past 12 years. So they saw me at 338 pounds. So now they'll see me at 100 and 
what was I, 158 pounds, and they'll be like, now, now that's why she brings her food. Um, but they knew anyway. But um, anyway, so, you know, if, if you're going to an event, take your food. Who cares? You know, you got to do what's going to help you reach your goal. So anyway, so I opted for this because, you know, I don't know what they'll have. They might have, um, you know, I, I want something that I'm going to fill up from and be satisfied with. And pulled pork, heck yeah, buddy. I mean, you know, barbecue, that's good anytime, anywhere. So I'm putting on some of the G Hughes, the Hickory barbecue sauce. And I'm going to put on some of the G Hughes honey mustard. And, um, and then, like I said, I've got my baked jicama. The baked bean inspired jicama, and that'll be right there. And um, so, kind of shake it down so it's not up against the, the lid. So that is what I'm going to take. And when we're there, and they they're all eating whatever it is they're eating, I'll pull this out. And uh, <clears throat> you know me, I got to have my big girl spoon. And so I'm going to take my own silverware along, and. Um, I'll have that, and then I'm not, let's see, well, and then I, a lot of times they have cookies and things like that, so to avoid the temptation, um, I, I am taking extra food, so I'm taking a yogurt, um, another yogurt, because I'll probably have one for breakfast um, when we get there, um, or maybe when I first wake up, I don't know, and then I've got some of these mozzarella, these little mozzarella balls, take two of those. I'm also going to take some of my rutabaga salad. I'll have to, they're going to be like, what? what is that smell, you guys? And I'm going to be like, that's my rutabaga salad. But you know, I, there'll be other smells. They'll be okay. And I'm setting aside my, uh, my egg casserole. So what I might do, I, I'm really not sure, uh, but I might leave this out where I can get it. Um, and eat on it during the drive if I get really hungry. Um, so, but I'll still, I'm gonna put it in here for now so that everything is all together. And, uh, cause I'll eat that cold too. You know me, I'll eat anything anyway. As long as it's food, you know I'm gonna eat it. <clears throat> um, then I also have those meat chips that I made. And so, um, I saw this on, I don't remember, I don't know if it was TikTok or, hang on. You, you zip it in. Wait, it can't be the bumpy side. You zip it in, and then you... And look, I mean, it's not perfect, but, uh, you know, it sucked some of the air out. So I'm going to put that in the top of this. Come on, baby, get in there. All right, so that'll be in there. Um, I'm going to take a couple of these plastic spoons you know, for yogurt. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they'll have some, but you know me, I'm just paranoid, so I'll have some of those in there. So this I'm going to put in the refrigerator. I'm going to take this with me in the morning. I'll put some electrolyte water in it, and um, I'll make up some coffee to take. I will definitely have some of my um, energy meal. I'm going to put this in the side of my lunchbox. Hang on. Because that drive back is always brutal. Um, I'm going to go on and get this set up for in the morning. <coughs> Again, we get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, or I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Because I'll leave my house at 5 and go pick her up. She literally lives like two minutes away. But uh, I'll get my coffee. I'll put some electrolytes in here. <clears throat> so I will have, every morning I typically have two things of electrolytes. Um, and then in the morning I'll add some of the caramel and this. And, uh, and I'll just heat up my water and it'll be good to go. <clears throat> so i put that down so I don't think it's empty. Anyway, so I'll take that with me. <clears throat> um, we're not taking, I'm not taking supper because, um, you know, she said we'll probably drive straight back, which is fine with me because if we get back, 
then if so we leave Jeff City at 3 p.m. Depending on our traffic, five, three, four, five, six, seven, there's the potential to get home like like 645, 630. It has happened. And when it does, I can get the dogs picked up and bring them home tomorrow night. Um, you know, at that evening. Um, which still costs the same because it's like a hotel. But <clears throat> it's um but then I got my puppies to sleep with. So uh, anyway, so that's 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 the prep work I do. You saw everything I'm going to take tomorrow. Um, I'll show you what I can. Like I said, I'm going to be driving for part of it. So I'll show you what I can show you when I can show you. So, okay, bye. I already ate my breakfast casserole. I ate it on the drive here. And we're in Jefferson City. It is 930. I got my peach yogurt and some of these um, mozzarella balls. And my lunch is the jicama bean, the faux baked beans, and the um, pulled pork, and some bagel salad. So that is my lunch today. Listen, don't let nobody tell you you can't get clothes cheap. Look how I'm dressed today. I went to a nice director's meeting, and look, I got this nice sweater, and then these nice gray pants. Where'd I get them? The thrift store. I bet you this outfit was about $7. So remember, thrift store, man, thrift store. All right, okay, food, food. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna show you. you. At the beginning of video, you saw what I packed to take to eat. So I'm gonna show you what's left. I had taken the lawn. I definitely had to use my energy flavor enhancer today. Because we left at 5 o'clock this morning. We got to Jefferson City about... Oh, I forgot I had spoons in there. Um, got to Jefferson City at 9. The meeting started at 10. Which is okay. I'd rather be there early than late. So, um, and the, oh, that's napkins. Um, I have a yogurt and some mozzarella cheese left. It's been at room temperature. It's probably not all that good, but I'm gonna put it back in the refrigerator and eat it tomorrow. What's the worst thing that could happen? I'll just get a little salmonella. Psh, a little salmonella never killed nobody. Anyway, let me put this in the refrigerator, hang on. Okay, um, so I ate my rutabaga salad and I ate my pulled pork and jicama. Uh, jicama, baked jicama, so I ate that, and tomorrow, or right now, at 7 o'clock, and I'm hungry. Oh, I ate all my, uh, the meat chips, so, uh, I'm hungry, I'm not really starving, I don't know what to do, what to do, let me find something different, hang on, here's what I'm gonna do, I got one of these. It's my meat, my egg, breakfast egg casserole. I'm just gonna eat it. It's cold, but I don't care. Sometimes you just don't care. Don't be judging me. What's on my phone? Something's up there, hang on. Oh, <laughs> I'm seeing, I was seeing the black, right? Where's my finger? I see in that black circle, right? Come on, where's my finger? Right there. I thought something was on my phone, but it's the black cast iron skillet. Anyway. I'm going to supper. So there we go. That's my supper. That's how I do on road trip days. And I did good. They had, um, they had sliced chicken, sliced pork, salad, rolls, um, and some vegetables. They actually had a healthy dinner. They don't usually have healthy food. But I still ate what I brought because it keeps me feeling good. You know, it's a 14-hour day of just sitting. And so I just I feel better when I eat the foods that I have. Um, so, yeah. So, that's what I ate. Um, I had my coffee this morning, and I had, 
I drank on, sipped on water and electrolytes throughout the day. We peed once on the way up there. It's, we, um, oh, coming home was awful. <clears throat> we left right at three and got home at seven. Got behind some kind of a fire, car fire. We were set to be home at 6.30 and the doggy daycare closes at 7. So we were doing our thing, heading home. We were making good time. Then got behind a dad gum. I mean, I feel sorry for the person and I pray for him. It was a car fire. So whatever happened, there was a car fire and um, I set us behind. So I couldn't go pick up the dogs tonight. So I'll go pick them up in the morning before I go to work. So, all right. That's my supper right here. Egg casserole. Cold egg casserole. Because I don't care. I'm telling you, I eat like a 12-year-old. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.